to graph y equals 2 plus 3 cosine of the quantity theta divided by 4 plus pi over 2, the first thing we need to do is talk about the transformations that are taking place on this function. Working inside, remember that everything works the inverse of what you actually think it does. So start with your multiplication or division. Theta divided by 4. Dividing by 4, we normally think getting smaller, so this is going to be the inverse of that. So we are horizontally stretching the graph by a factor of 4. Then we are going to deal with this pi over 2, but we have to doctor it by taking our horizontal stretch and multiplying by 4. So pi over 2 times 4 is 2 pi, and that is a positive 2 pi. So normally when we think positive, we go right. But again, we have to think inverse since this is on the inside of the function. So we are going to go left 2 pi. Now we can work outside of the function. We have a 3. So outside works exactly as we think. So we are going to vertically stretch by a factor of 3. A plus 2 on the outside means we are going to go up 2. Okay. So this means our period of cosine is normally 2 pi, but again, our horizontal stretch affects our period, so we are going to multiply our normal period of cosine by our horizontal stretch factor, so 2 pi times 4 is 8 pi. We are going to take our uh, information here now and make a two-way table. We're going to make a two-way table of theta and y. And we are going to do our five important points. Our first important point occurs at 0, 1 for cosine. But we want to deal with our horizontal stretches first before we deal with our left 2 pi. So 0 times 4 is 0. Our next important point is at pi over 2. So pi over 2 times 4 is 2 pi. Our next important point is at pi, so pi times 4 is going to be 4 pi. Our next important point is at 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 times 4 is 6 pi. And our last important point of the parent graph for cosine is at 2 pi, so 2 pi times 4 is 8 pi. Okay. Now for our y values, we're going to use our parent graph y values. So cosine starts at 1. Our next important point is at 0. Our next important point is at negative 1. Our next important point is at 0. And our last important point is at 1. Okay. Now, we want to apply our left by pi over 2 to our thetas. So we're going to call this new theta. And remember, once you have this into words, you do exactly what it says to do. On a number line, when you think left, you normally think of subtraction. So we're going to take theta and we're going to subtract 2 pi from our old thetas. So I have 0 minus 2 pi, which is negative 2 pi. I have 2 pi minus 2 pi, which is equal to 0. I have 4 pi minus 2 pi, which will be 2 pi, 6 pi minus 2 pi, 
is 4 pi. And last, I have 8 pi minus 2 pi, which will give me 6 pi. Okay. Then I'm going to do a new y. In my new y's, I am going to take into effect both the vertical stretch and the up two by taking my old y, multiplying by three, and adding two. So one times three plus two is five. Three times zero plus two is two. Three times negative one plus two is negative one. Three times zero plus two is two. Three times one plus two is five. I am now ready to go graph my final answer. I am going to go ahead and go back to my original theta so that I can mark my coordinate plane off in the units to start with. So I'm gonna go out to eight pi. I'm going to start here. I'm going to call that 8 pi. I am going to cut that in half. So this is going to be 4 pi. I'm again going to cut that in half. And this is going to be 2 pi. So now I have 0, 2 pi, 4 pi. And this is going to be 6 pi. Remember, I am going to be going left by 2 pi, so I am going to end up on the left side of the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and go over by 2 pi this way, so this is negative 2 pi. On my y-axis, I am going to go by units of 1. Okay. Remember, you do not actually have to label these by units of 1 if they are 1. If you go by something other than ones, then you do have to label the y-axis also. The x-axis must always be labeled. Okay, we are now going to plot our new thetas and our new y's. So I have negative 2 pi at 5. So 2, 4, and 5. We have 0, 2. At 0, we are at 2. At 2 pi, I'm at negative 1. At 4 pi, I'm at 2. At 6 pi, I am at 5. And then if you are right-handed, because it is hard to draw these without being able to see the dots, turn your paper sideways so that you can see where you're going and make your curve. There is your graph of y equals 2 plus 3 cosine of theta divided by 4 plus pi over 2.